Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon Solo Runs. Uh, interesting Pokemon this time around. Um, another one... Oops. Uh, another one, it's very popular. Everyone loves him. Everyone is... A lot of people uh, seek after his card as well. It's not Charizard. Um, but I can honestly say, also a Pokemon I have not used a lot. I can't really think of any time that I've really gone out of my way to put him in my party. Um, this Pokemon will be Arcanine. Now, Arcanine is... Alright, that's gone. I uh, just need to turn my code off so my game doesn't eventually crash. Yeah. Uh, touchpad. Yeah, well, there we go. Alright. So, Arcanine... Now, I know Arcanine's good. He's got good stats. His HP is already quite high. His attack, his attack and speed are very high, defense and special are a little bit meh, but what's his moveset? Raw, Ember, Leer, Takedown. Takedown's very good, it will cause recoil damage, but Takedown is very, I think, is it base 100 or 110? I think it's base 100. Or no, no, maybe it's base 90, I can't remember. And he, he does also have Ember, so Raw's pretty useless, but... Now what you do see is the experience, 114 to level 6, that's quite a lot. So he's not going to be levelling up very quick. Uh, takedown. Ah, yeah, Takedown is also not 100% accurate. But, does a lot of damage. Especially in the early levels as well, your recoil damage isn't that high onto your HP. However, I reckon Arcanine is actually going to do pretty good. <clears throat> and the reason being is Fire types in this, they don't match up particularly well against the Elite Four, but for the rest of the game, they're actually pretty good. And I might be mistaken, but I'm like, I'm 99% sure Arcanine can learn Dig, which is also going to give him a very good move throughout the game. That'll also make him good against um, Erika as well. I mean, he's already got fire moves, but that'll also make him good against Koga and also good against Blaine himself. So, it'll also make him good against Agatha. Now, if Arcanine can't learn dig, I'm going to be very surprised because uh, what do dogs do in your backyard? They dig holes. And what is Arcanine? He is a... He's a large dog that has fire. So, so yeah, shouldn't be a problem there. Think. Although, lest we forget, Dragonite, with its two big bulky arms, can't learn Mega Punch. At least in this generation. And Gen 1, it was a different time. So, probably not going to need the antidotes, because Arcanine should actually blitz through everything in Viridian Forest. Oops. I'm going to get raw off of top. There we go. So, Arcanine should blitz through Viridian Forest very easily. And that's why I do pick up the antidote, because particularly against that trainer, you can get hit by poison. Alright, last one. And now let's back to Viridian. I'll gain Arcanine a couple of extra levels, because Brock, remember he isn't... Because Brock's Pokémon have such poor special defense, Ember won't be too bad, but if we look at Arcanine, his special also isn't that fantastic, so... And remember, special is both attack and defense in Gen 1. It was split into two different stats in Gen 2. Okay, let's use Takedown on Pidgey. And wow, I'm surprised that only did that much damage. I thought that would have done a lot more. Hmm. Alright, but anyway, fairly easy win. Uh, there's not really any much use using takedown against Brock, because uh, his Pokemon, their defensive stats are going to be high. It's not an effective move, and it will cause a recoil. Forest. Let's come through here and up into Pewter City. Okay, Pewter City. 
has the museum, but it also has this trainer. I'm going to use takedown against Diglett, just because Diglett's physical defense is so low. Although, ooh, I tell you what, he's only just managed to beat that trainer. And at level 10, I, I don't like Arcanine's chances, to be honest. Look, just for the just for the sake of the intrigue of the video, I'll try him now with Ember. Yeah, it's... Okay, Tackle hasn't done too much, but... Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Bye, that's fine. Let's use Leah. Okay, now Onyx is outspeeding. Is wait, is it? Didn't Arcanine move first? That might be a speed tie. Do we get a burn? If we get a burn, oh, tackle's doing a lot of damage. Screech. I think I might have been hit by a couple, but I think two more embers will do it. Oh, I tell you what. Oh, and Arcanine gets the speed, so it definitely was a speed tie. And Arcanine was getting a lot of critical hits as well. Like, it was getting a critical hit every turn. There must be a, there must be something confusing Gen 1's AI, or it's however it calculates, because that shouldn't have been getting a critical hit every time. Arcanine's fast, but he's not that fast. Either way, doesn't matter. Arcanine won. Only just if um, Onyx got got first hit and hit tackle, it could have knocked Arcanine out. So it was a lucky win. But sometimes luck luck plays its factor in Pokemon. So good old bug catchers, they're all pretty easy to get rid of. Right. Mount Moon now. There's nothing really in Mount Moon, TM-wise, that's going to help Arcanine out. My best bet is to is going to be to battle the rival. And given that Arcanine's only level 13, that's not fantastic. So, I might just do another bug catcher here. And this trainer here. Because it, Arcanine does require a little bit more experience to level up because it's in a slower level up group. And if that Pidgeotto hits Sand Attack, we're going to have a hard time winning. So I would like to level Arcanine up just a little bit more. And given the trainer battles that are left, there's probably one more level in that, so... I might be stuck with takedown to get us through the rest of here. Voltorb and coughing. Cool. There we go, level 17. So, come out of Mount Moon. Oh, perfect, with the speed tap to get me through to that great ball. Uh, Spiro, hmm. I can't use takedown, that's gonna be a one shot. I'm, just, I'm gonna lob the great ball at level eight. Yeah, very, very nice. It's not guaranteed, but it's quite likely. Okay, let's grab a candy. And obviously, I'm not gonna... Actually, I could battle Misty's first trainer. And I could also battle that Goldeen. It might get Arcanine to level 18. Then it's the same level as that Pidgeotto. Oops. Alright, take down. Very... Good. Okay, 
Okay, didn't get me to level 18, but that's okay. Alright, let's give the rival a try. Arcanine outspeeds, which is good. I'm going to go for takedowns just because it's going to do more damage and I really need that Pidgeotto out. Alright, Ember down, Abra. Ember down, Radita. Now Squirtle, I will have to go for takedown. Ah, oh, don't miss. Oh, it hit Bubble. I was worried about that Squirtle. Takedown, I could be wrong. I think it's 85% accuracy. So it's not a good move. I really want to get rid of it. And Arcanine should be able to learn Body Slam, right? So... Arcanine, though, may not be able to learn Flamethrower. That might be a pre-evolve move. That's the thing about starting with Stone Evolve Pokemon. You usually have to teach them all their moves as they pre-evolve first. Alright, level 20. Get through. Get through. Cool. Okay. Let's get on down back to heal. Alright, Arcanine's in good shape. We should be able to get through Surge Fine, especially if we can use Dig. That should one-shot his whole team. Ah, poisoned. I do still have an antidote, so that's fine. March up. Good. Arcanine won't be able to learn Seismic Toss. Okay. Alright, let's help out Bill. This will give us the option to go into the backyard and get the TM to dig. And quick assurance of healing up. Ambo, Ambo is good. Okay, Drowsy, take down, take down, good. Okay, TM for Dig, yes. Alright, let's get rid of Raw. Now that we have the TM for Dig, not only do we have another offensive move to use, it's also base 100 in Gem 1, it's not base 80. So, let's go for Dig. Good, one shot on Star you dig on Starmie. Oh, I didn't want to see an extra fend. So, Water Gun, Bubble Beam, they will both do a lot of damage. And now, because that extra fend is, that extra fence has been used. Oh, and it must be a speed tie. There's Arcanine's first loss. It should be able to beat Misty though. I reckon it can do it. So it'll take three water guns at least. There's no X defend this time. And oh, it's still gonna take three digs though. Unless I get a crit, which I do. Ooh, there you go. Hey, it's luck. And to be fair, Arcanine's speed is pretty good. So it is going to get a few crits here and there. So two attempts on Misty. I'm actually quite liking Arcanine right now. I reckon he's going to do really. Oops. I reckon he's going to do really good. And this bodes pretty well for Nine Tails as well. So I haven't done Nine Tails yet. Your Butterfree's got nothing on me now, although you have poisoned me, but that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, take down on Pidgeys. Take down on Spearow. Use Dig on Raticate. Alright, so Surge, Erica, even Koga, probably Sabrina and Blaine. All of them are going to be very easy to beat now that I have Dig. 
and Arcanine's good attack strength also goes a long way for that as well. So yeah, all up until the Elite Four, I reckon Arcanine's gonna be he's gonna be pretty solid. Wrong room. I have come for TM for Body Slam. Now that I have the TM for Body Slam, let's get rid of Leah. And Arcanine now has a very good moveset. Aha, so you have a Pidgeotto, do you? Let's use Body Slam. Good. Eradicate. Dig. Good. Cadabra. Body Slam. Good. Wartle. Aha. Yep, this game has suddenly become very easy. Okay, thinking ahead, what else can Arcanine learn? Apart from Flamethrake, obviously it can also learn Fire Blast, but I would prefer not to use Fire Blast because it's because of its inaccuracy and its low PP. The only thing is, I don't think Arcanine learns Flamethrower from Level Up. I'm pretty sure you have to teach it Flamethrower or get it to learn Flamethrower as a Growlithe. So, yeah. To be honest, sir, I don't think I'm actually going to need Flamethrower. Alright, did we get it right? No, top left. Okay, that was luck. Do we get top left? Oh, I hate this. So, for those who may not know, you probably would if you've watched the videos that I make for a while, but it is 50-50. It is either the trash can directly to the right of the one of the first switch, or it is in the top left. Ah, there we go. Alright, Surge, obviously. Oops. Oh, might as well body slam it then. Dig. Good. Dig. It should have all been one hit KOs. Arcanine cannot learn Thunderbolt, so don't need to worry about that. Let's back down all the way back to Cerulean. And we're going to head on down to Rock Tunnel. So without Flamethrower, I could teach Fire Blast. I could. Just trying to think though, is it really going to be worth it? Because who have we got? We got Lorelei, who Fire Blast could be useful for. Most of her Pokemon are also part water, so it doesn't. It'll do neutral damage. But if I'm thinking about it, Arcanine's special compared to his attack is quite. You know, there's quite a gap there, so may actually be better to use Body Slam and Dig against Lorelei. Believe it or not, Bruno might be a little bit difficult this time. Ah, uh, probably not, but... Oh, then again... Ah, uh, he's got Dig, so... Still do a lot of damage against Onyx. Uh, Agatha will be fine. Lance... Gyarados might be a bit of an issue. If anything, the only thing that's really going to be a hindrance for Arcanine are going to be Gyarados, which the rival doesn't have this time because he's got Blastoise. Okay, dig. Uh, first Geodude went for self-destruct. Did that Graveler have an opportunity to attack after using Defense Curl? Amber and Amber, good.
That was a wad. <laughs> they weren't far away from getting knocked out. Oh, oh, that was an accident. That was a complete accident. Wasn't a problem though, but... Oh, what? Oh, I did not know that his range was that far. Oh, no. I need to one shot, or oh, I need to knock out Cubone. If it hits Bone, ah, oh, Slowpoke, really? Oh boy, uh, okay, what do I do? What do, I do? Body Slam, ah, oh, it only did. Oh, Jesus, I'm doing everything in my power to get knocked out. Oh, what's an extra two battles? Let's defeat this rival. Who's under leveled for this part of the game? Body slam is good. Growlithe. Egg. Execute. Amber. I could probably keep Amber. And just ignore Fire Blast altogether. Okay. Let's head over to Cerulean City. Not Cerulean, Celadon. Celadon City. And over in Celadon, we will grab the water for the guard. We will get fly, rocket, game corner. And there's no TMs this time from the from the drinks girl. Ice beam. Can Arcanine learn rock slide? I doubt it but it might. I will check, because if it can learn Rock Slide, that's a very good move for Lorelei, and it's a very good move for Gyarados, so I will check just in case. Let's see if it can learn Rock Slide. No, it cannot. Yeah, Rock Slide, it is very useful for Lorelei, it's very useful for Gyarados. It is basically what got Golem and Dugtrio through the game. Come over here for Fly. Erica first or the game corner? I would say Erica. I don't think Erica is really going to be very difficult. Not with Dig. The only thing that she probably could do is put me to sleep, which would be annoying. But she shouldn't. Oh, then again, Razor Leaf. It's definitely not the worst move out there, so nah, let's give her a try. Good dig, should do it. Uh, poison, that's not too bad. It's better than sleep, to be honest. Get rid of Tangela. Dig on Vileplume. Ooh. That did not do as much as what I thought it was going to. All right, Ember, should do it. Okay. Wasn't too far off a loss, but we got there in the end. Yeah, fire Pokemon, they can actually struggle against Erika because of the statuses. If they cast Sleep on you and then just use Razor Leaf, even though it's not effective, Razor Leaf still has a high critical hit ratio. And like, it's not a bad move. I, I forget exactly what its power is. I think it might be like base 70 or 80, something like that. So like, it's not a bad move by any means. So. Same with Petal Dance, which I think is what Vile Plume used. Petal Dance is a pretty strong move. And... I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Mm-hmm. Ugh, alright. Down, down. Alright, let's grab the Lift Key. 
Ember, Ember, good. Zubat, Ember, good. Okay. So grab the key. And let's head to battle Giovanni, who... He won't be as easy as other runs, but he should. He still shouldn't be that difficult. Alright, get rid of these two goons. Sand slash, body slam, body slam, body slam. Sand slash always do. They're always tough enemies. Have I done a run with Sand Slash yet? Yes, yes, I think I did. Because I remember him not being as good as what I thought he was going to be. Ooh, I really should have healed. I really should have healed before the battle, that's fine. I'll just give him one. Oh yeah, Arcanine definitely should have been healed before that battle, otherwise it would have lost. But that's okay. Arcanine at full health wouldn't lose that battle, so I don't mind using a battle item because I was an idiot and forgot to use it. Right, obviously no issues here. All the ghost Pokemon are part poison, which makes them susceptible to dig. Elixir. Okay, two more channelers to go. Cubone. Quite rare, don't see them very often in here. Alright, let's put Mother Marowak to rest. I have done a run with Marowak and it was one of the worst I've ever done. Marowak was dreadful. Weak, slow, susceptible to grass and water. Just, it was not a fun run. Lost to Misty, it lost to Erica, it lost to Sabrina, it lost to... I don't think it lost to Surge, <laughs> but it lost to everyone else. Uh, it beat Brock fine. Lost to Giovanni I'm pretty sure as well. Okay, eradicate Amber. Good. Alright. We'll go back home with Mr. Fuji, grab the Poker Flute, which will allow us to get past Norlax. We can also go to Saffron now as well. But no, I think I'll do Koga first. Because Koga should be really easy. Although, I'll tell you what, Arcanine's level is... Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, Spiro. That's why I traded you to Farfetch. Because you made me lose like seven seconds. Okay. So yeah, Koga. Yeah. You shouldn't be too hard. Let me just deposit ducks. Even even though his level's a little bit lower, he shouldn't be too difficult. Abra and Krause. Abra and Poison, so let's go heal. Um, because Koga's susceptible to dig, his Pokemon may also use oops, his Pokemon may also use self-destruct while I am under the ground. If Arcanine gets hit by self-destruct... Self uh, to be fair, it's 
Even though its defense and special are lower than its attack and speed, they're still not that low. It's still pretty strong. It can still take a hit. Alright, good win. And let's take on Koga. So the only strategy here is dig. Ooh. Tell you what, I didn't want that to happen. And Muck used Minimize. And wow, I'm not looking out coughing in one hit. I was expecting to be able to at least not coughing out in one hit. Let's give him another try because he did get poisoned. He was a little bit unlucky. Ah, uh, that's better. Ah, uh, that's much better. Dig on wheezing. Haha, -ha, that's much better. See, I knew Arcanine got a little bit unlucky in that first battle. Alright, while we're here, off to Safari Zone. Uh, after doing Safari Zone this many times, uh, it's, it's just a hassle now. It was once the most fun place to come in the game. Chancy. Chansey run would be very interesting. Because Chansey is absolutely weak as piss. Any physical attack, like, despite its HP, it does have a lot of special though. Ah, uh, I have no room. Uh, let's get rid of that. Alright, uh, I need to go to a Pokemon and I now need ducks out as well don't need the escape rope don't need that don't need that uh, don't need mega drain cool Okay, before... Should I get strength for now? No. Then I'll probably forget to come back and get the red candy. Alright, let's fly to Celadon, and now let's head to Saffron. Now this should be... I reckon this part of the game may actually be quite easy. What I will do, I will fight Karate King first. Not mandatory, but I do like to still beat him. Just to assert that I am the best. There is no doubt in anyone's mind that I am better than the Karate King. I dig on him on the body slam. Good hit on Chan. Easy. Now let's duck into Sylph Company. Elixir, this dude down here has an Arbok. Floor 9, so if we zip around, we can dodge the rocket, get a quick heal. Loop around, knock this fella out. And we can take on our rival. And this will give a good indication how we're going to do against him later in the game. Alright. We can't paralyze Pidgeot with Body Slam because Pidgeot is a normal type and Body Slam is a normal type move, so. When you put those two things together, you can't cause a status effect. Amber, Amber, Alakazam, let's use Dig. Ooh, 
almost one shot. Blastoise, uh, dig, withdraw, that's not good, that is really not good. Yes, that's what I needed, was a paralysis, but we are not in good shape. Bubble would be fine, fully paralysed, that's what we needed. Fully paralysed again, ooh, Bubble nearly knocks me out. Defence rose, but we get the win. Close, very, very close, but close is still good enough. Alright, let's grab Lapras. Bone and drowsy, and I'm poisoned again. Marowak donked me with a bone club, so uh, right, let's go back and heal. Destroy Giovanni. Dig on Nidorino, that's good. Kangaskhan, body slam, body slam, body slam. Rhyhorn, dig. Nido Queen, dig. They're part poison, so they're weak to the, the ground typing in dig. Okay. Let's heal up. Can we defeat Sabrina on first try? I reckon we will. I reckon. We might not outspeed Alakazam, but it should only take two hits to knock it out. Dead Cadabra is one shot, Mr. Mime should be two shots. Wow. Venomoth, Ember, oh idea. I'm going to have to go for Body Slam. Psy Wave does random damage. Ooh, paralyzed, paralyzed. That'll mean that I'll hit first and knock out Alakazam. So only just, but just is still enough. Let's fly to Fuchsia. And let's grab the HM for strength. Huh, I can only call strength. I thought that'd be a move that I could learn. But that's why we have Lapras. Alright, far-fetched. Next we need to go to Cinnabar Island, where we will battle Blaine, which will be a pretty easy gym battle because we have Dig. Basically, if a Pokemon can learn Dig, the run is generally pretty good. Unless you're Marowak. Oh, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to get a... Um, I'm going to get... Max repels. So I don't want to be trying to flee from Pokemon all the time. Right, down the middle. And up. Line up with that little thing in the wall. Above screen, okay. Push that. There's two rare candies, maybe three, but there might be one on the bottom floor. Ha! <laughs> Look where the Pokeball item is in the top right corner. That's that's a strange way that Gem 1's frame works. Okay, grab the rare candy here. Secret key, that's for Blaine's gym. And let's dig out of here, all the way back to Future City. Alright, Blaine should be fine.
Caterpie evolves into Metapod, but that's okay, even though it says Butterfree. All of the ones on this row are a nose. This one's a yes. And this one is a no. Alright, Blaine, I am guessing, is gonna all be. probably all be one shot kills. Yep, Growlithe is good, Ponyto is good, Rapidash is good, and his own Arcanine. His own Arcanine use, gets a Super Potion at full health because Gem 1's AI is broken. Body Slam, that's an easy win. Fire Blast. I'll keep it just in case I do need it. Okay, Giovanni. Will Giovanni be easy or not? Probably no, because I have Dig. So all of these Pokemon are going to be either have Rock or they're going to have Poison. So no, Giovanni probably won't be any. No, he does have Dog Trio, but Dog Trio should be fine. So it should again be an easy win. So with Dig. What are you good against? You're good against Surge, you're good against Erica, you're good against Koga, you're good against Blaine, good against Giovanni. You would be good against Brock as well, but you don't get the turn for Dig. That's including Brock, that'd be six gym leaders that you're good against. Um, it's good for Sabrina because her Pokemon have bad defense, even though it's not super effective. It's still a good move to use against them, and it's good against Misty as well because of its power, even though it's not super effective. Like, Dig, Dig and Earthquake are just stupidly overpowered moves in Gen 1. All right, Dugtrio, let's use Body Slam, because that can also go for Dig. Dugtrio's been paralyzed, which means I can use Dig, and I can get out of the way of, oh, that's cheap. That's cheap. He used that guard spec to get away from my dig. Alright, dig on Nido Queen. Even though it's not a one shot. Which does give him a chance to hit back, but that's okay. His ride on's probably only gonna go for horn drill. Or fissure, or whatever move it has. Which is never gonna hit me because I'm faster. I haven't done a Rhydon run yet. Rhydon should actually be pretty good. He's weak against a lot, but he can also learn Dig. He's not that fast though, which is probably his main issue, but... Wow, I'm only level 44. That's like really low for this stage of the game. And Arcanine's only lost twice, and... Both of them, he tried second straight after, and then he won. Body slam. Jeez, it took a bit to knock that Pidgeotto out. Huh. Good. Okay, Growlithe, dig. That's good. Execute. Body slam, body slam. Oh, it's paralyzed me. I'm going to go... Uh, and I'm seated as well. Dig doesn't knock Alakazam out. Alright, a little bit unlucky with that paralysis. But you know what? I reckon Al I reckon Arcanine could actually win this battle at this level. Good critical hit. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Dig, good. Dig, good. There's half his team done. We haven't taken any damage. Amber. Ah. Oh, beautiful. It's been seeded, but that's okay. Two body slams and now Blastoise, which I probably won't be able to beat. Not being seeded, anyway. Well, Blastoise was just paralysed. Who knows how that may have ended up if I didn't get hit by Psybeam.
Body slam, body slam, body slam. Alright, this run's been a bit worse. Okay. Let's use Ember, Ember. Alakazam, body slam. No, no Arcanine will have to level up a little bit. Oh, I'll use my red candies here. Because I don't want to be sitting here for ages trying to get past his rival. Level 50 is usually where I think Growlithe learns Flamethrower, so Arcanine's probably not going to learn it. Alright, level 54. You know, I'm just... I'm going to teach him Fire Blast just for the hell of it. Get rid of Ember. Just for fun, let's... hock a large... human-shaped ball of fire! Haha! -ha. Oh, we've had a bunch of eggs. Let's. Ah, okay. Oh, it wants to use solar beam on me. Oh, I burnt the eggs. All right, Alakazam, dig good. Out speeds. Ah, oh, almost a one shot. Almost. All right, good paralysis, but Hydro Pump will knock me out. That was really unlucky. That was really, really unlucky. If that gets a one-shot on that Alakazam, that's all it needs, is just a one-shot that Alakazam. Two body slams, it's good. Dig is good. Growlithe dig is good. Go for Fire Blast. Fry up some eggs. Body slam on Alakazam. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Body slam on Blastoise. Ah, oh, okay. Dig. Now, Blastoise can go for... It can go for Hydro Pump. It can go for Withdraw. And I think it might have Water Gun as well as Skull Bash by the look of it. So... So, yeah, if, if I can avoid getting hit by Hydro Pump straight away... Good, okay. Let's hope for a Paralysis, that's good, that's what we need. Withdraw, that's good, that's what we need. Let's go for Dig. Wow. If it's a crit, it's one shot. And Blastoise isn't the fastest Pokemon in the world, so it's actually quite unlucky to get a critical hit. So it's really the only the only obstacle is that Blastoise. Fire Blast, nice. Dig on Alakazam. Blastoise. I'm gonna have to go for Body Slam. I need the paralysis. Oh, it's gone for a withdraw. I'm gonna go for dig. Oh, you. Oh, it's gone for withdraw. Fantastic. And hey, look, like I say, I don't control the AI. If the AI makes a bad move, it makes a bad move. It's not my. It's not through my uh, my decision. So yeah, the way the good AI works on Gen 1, his Blastoise will only go for a water move. Now Withdraw is also considered a water type move, so the game can't tell the difference between what's actually causing damage and what is going to make him lose. Alright, the most annoying part of the game by far is in here getting through this stupid victory road tunnel. Hated it as a kid. Ah! Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I, I will admit, 
If I put on the walk through walls cheat, I can just walk over the top, like you go outside, uh, the, the next spot for Victory Road is literally like almost on the same screen. I will admit, I genuinely think about putting that clip through walls cheat on and just walking over the top of Victory Road. Because there's nothing in here. None of the trainer battles are mandatory. There's a, a full restore at the end of the tunnel, which I usually pick up, but I can buy them. There's a rare candy in here, I guess. But I don't have to pick it up. It's only one extra level, it doesn't make all the difference. So, I mean... In theory, it wouldn't really change the game that much if I'd use a clip through walls cheat, would it? Even though it only it takes maybe two minutes to get through this. Uh, what are we, 51 minutes? That's not too bad, but Arcanine is going to have... Uh, 51 and a half minutes is just clogged over. It feels like Arcanine's gone quicker than that, though. Because the only trainer that it really had an issue with was... The last rival. Lost all my damn money to him as well. I had like 50k. Alright, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of these. That's fine. Get two more. And he might as well just have it now. Alright, first attempt with Lorelei. Alright, let's go for Dig. How much does it do? That's good. That's really good. I'm going to use Fire Blast against Cloyster just because it's, um, it's used Clamp on me too. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Okay, let's try again. Alright, Dig's good for Dugong. Use body slam now that it's gone to sleep. Um, because Cloyster's physical defense is so high. Yeah, it's better to go for Fire Blast as assuming it hits. Dig on Slowbro. There we go. Fire Blast on Jinx, that's a one shot. I'm gonna go with the Fire Blast to start. Ah! Lapras. That's not very nice. Okay, dig, body slam, I think it used growl on me now too. Dig, yes it did. That's really bad. I won't be able to damage. I'm gonna have a tough time damaging Lapras. Unless I get a crit. Which I don't. So yes, Arcanine is going to have issues with Lorelei. Once it's past Lorelei, it will probably win. It'll probably win the Elite Four. And that bros, I'm gonna start with Dig, which Lapras is very bulky, it's got a lot of HP, and it's the only hindrance, because you can't miss, you can't miss Fire Blast. I lost a Slowbro. Well, it's probably definitely going to go over the hour mark for Arcanine now. Unless I can do it in five minutes at this speed. Too much damage. Unless I can get a critical hit. Again, Hydro Pump is also not 100% accurate and Lapras hasn't missed it yet. 
Growl, I've lost attack power. And there we go, we got a critical hit, but, but we're struggling. Fire Blast still isn't even doing half to Lapras, so unfortunately Arcanine's run comes to a screeching halt right here against what is pretty much our nemesis for these runs, and that is Royal Eye. Arcanine has missed two more Fire Blasts. This is why I never teach that move. It's just too unreliable. Dig. If I get a critical hit, uh, even a critical hit, it probably still... It's not going to knock it out in one shot, is it? There we go. It's finally missed a Hydro Pump. Oh, and we ah, oh, we get a crit, and it's only just... Oh, but it's used a Super Potion. We can get on Dig, and we can win. Well, it took a bit of luck. Arcanine, if it battled again against... Well, I, it would lose. Uh, dig on Onyx. Body Slam. Body Slam on Hit on Chan. Body Slam on Hit on Lee. Dig on Onyx. Body Slam, Body Slam. Go. I have no body slam money, I've dig. Oh boy, I have no choice but to use an elixir. Dig, good, gold bat. Uh, okay, fire blast will do. Dig on haunter, good. Arbok, dig, it's good. Dig on Gengar. All one shots. Agatha is very easy for a change. Lance. Hmm. Now this. Gyarados. He's going to use Hydro Pump. Once I can get through that Gyarados, I can. Oh, then again, there's Blastoise as well. And it's a shame because Arcanine's been been better than this. Arcanine has been a lot better than the final time that it's going to end up getting. Arcanine was doing really well right up to the Elite Four. It's It now gets slapped around by Lorelei. Hydro Pump is probably going to be a one shot on Arcanine until it reaches like level 67, 8, something like that. Which isn't good. It's one shot in Cloister with Fire Blast, assuming it hits. If it gets hit by Clamp, then we lose pretty much our entire block of HP. I do have some options. I can I can pick up a PP up if I need to. In terms of moves, Arcanine's pretty much got as good as it's gonna have. I'm very surprised that Dugong went for an Aurora Beam. Okay, it's Mr. Hydro Pump. We need we need a critical hit here. And it looks like oh we and we get the critical hit. And it looks like we might have a speed tie between them as well. Lapras and Arcanine. No, surely not. We couldn't. I must have skipped a frame on a message or something. Dig on Onyx. Dig again. And I've got no choice. I'd have to use an elixir. Because I'll be 
obviously I need, I'm probably going to have to pick up the PP ups because I just don't have enough on dig. And so I have to use five of them to get past here. Five, not four, not five, four. I need to use four on Agatha. And this, how much does Fire Blast do? Not as much as Hydro Pump. Did more with Body Slam, but it wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Ducks. Need luck against um, Gyarados as well. Yes, I am going to go and pick up the PP up. And I'm going to put them on dig so I don't have to keep using my elixir. Because it's not like you can just go to the shop and buy them for some reason. Uh, there is another one near in between like Fuchsia and Lavender Town down on that sea route, but we should only need two. to hit against Cloyster. Alright, dig on Lapras. Oh, it's survived a Hydro Pump and crit on a dig. Now, I am also starting to run out of full restores. Dig, get rid of Onyx. Get rid of Hitmonchan, get rid of Hitmonlee. Dig on Onyx. Down goes my champ. Alright. Let's get an easy one against Agatha. And Arcanine is up to Lance again. Get one hydro pump, but it can't get two. But we really need Gyarados to miss with at least one of them. But it really is a shame because Arcanine's run hasn't been this bad. Throughout, pretty much. Ah, crit me with hydro pump. Throughout the whole game, Arcanine was pretty good, right up until now. Unbelievable, another critical hit. Unbelievable. That we almost should be beating Lorelei every time now. Blast so we can finally knock out Slowbro. There we go. Alright. Well, we shouldn't need to use any healing items before Bruno. And we shouldn't need any against Agatha either. for Lance, there's my last full restore. So 
So at level 70, one hit. That's that's ridiculous. Arcanine shouldn't be getting knocked out in one hit, even with a crit. I mean, you see its stats there. Its stats are pretty good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, its stats are brilliant. Dig, body slam, good, fire blast. Alright, well it's taken too much damage. But it still gets through though. Well, it looks like Lorelei is now consistent, so. Could even be that as soon as we're past that Gyarados, we win. Despite Blastoise being at the end. Oof, my champ nearly got us. left, I really need to save them. Oh, it's finally missed with a hydro pump and it's still done like half damage as well. Use the two digs against Dragonair, can't use it against, oh, I've got nothing. I've got nothing to damage Aerodactyl with. I'm gonna have to pick up have to pick up like an Aether or something. And there's two that I can get. So Arcanine, despite having an okay learn set, the downside to that learn set is simply the PP is not lasting getting us to where we need to get it. So there's an ether here. I've stopped picking these up because usually I never end up using them. And there's another one. There's a max ether here. So I'll have them in the bag just in case. It's now a one shot with a crit on Dugong. It's a good hit on Slowbro. And it's two hits with Dig on Lapras. I'm going to use Takedown against them. Preserve some HP. Oh, I did not mean to use Fire Blast against Gengar. And to use Dig. Oh, restore. All right. Ironically, now we should be okay in terms of PP remaining. Body slam, two hits, good. Dragonairs are down. Alright, I'm gonna go for Fire Blast against Aerodactyl. That's done half. Body slam, and ah, oh, you've. That used a friggin'. got the Dragonite, I can't damage it with Dig because it's part flying, all I have left is Takedown. Maybe I should have kept Ember. Alright, well we've 
I've already lost too much PP. How much does takedown do against? Oh, we can use takedown there. How much does it? Yeah, it's still, it's still doing quite a bit of damage to itself using it. Ah, unbelievable, it used, she swapped after I'd used dig and I kept mashing A. Jeez, an hour and 11 has just clocked, and that's a shame because Arcanine's been a lot better throughout the game. It's just really bad against the Elite Four, in a solo run point of view. Store, it's not really any point using it against Bruno. There we go, we get knocked out by Bruno. Ah, uh, oh, I didn't buy any four stores, uh, so it's fine. I get the feeling Arcanine's probably going to need to be at about level 80 or so, which is almost unheard of for a Pokemon. Given that, he's not bad. Look at his stats. His stats are fantastic. For a Pokemon this strong, and it's not like his moveset's terrible. It's just not... He's just getting absolutely slaughtered by Hydro Pump. Should be fine. Should. Man, I really do not like Fire Blast. It's a terrible move. Inaccurate. Unreliable. Alright, we've got all of our Body Slam back. Oh, and that's a one-shot with a crit on Gyarados, that's very handy. And speaking of critical hits, Arcanine should be getting a lot of them. There we go, we're finally through Lance. We're finally through Lance for the first time. I have... I don't have a full restore. Well, we know we're going to need two hits, and I got me removed. Me removed, and it then needs body slam on me. There we go, we've got our full restores back. Fire Blast, it's missed again. I hate the move, I, it's, it's so bad. Price. We nearly lost to Lorelei again. Right. Body Slam is. Uh, that's just going to be one shots against him now because of the level difference. It's amazing how bad Fire Pokemon are against Gem 1's Elite 4. Like, this is just crazy. body slam so I can try and preserve the elixirs uh, body slam might as well just go for dig against them so I can't use it against Aerodactyl or Dragonite there we go Dragonite's down 
We'll get an elixir because we have one more. Here we go, rival. First attempt, level 79. Fantastic stats. Yeah, really, really hard done by. Alright. Good. Knock out Pidgeot in one hit. Knock out Alakazam in one hit. Do ride right on in with Dig. And a body slam. Here's Arcanine. We'll get done in by Dig. Exeggutor. Fire Blast. Good. It hasn't missed any. And use Body Slam. Blast always went for Withdraw. Go for Dig. And another Withdraw. Hydro Pump. Oh, you were joking. Look how much that's done. Mind you, it got a critical hit. But, all right, you want to cheat like that, then I'll cheat like that as well. There we go, critical hit. And I don't care. If he's going to use a full restore like that, then fair's fair, I will use a full restore like that. So... And because he was lucky enough to get a critical hit with Blastoids, which isn't a very fast Pokemon, so the chances of that would be very high. So at level 79, as you see, attack and speed are phenomenal. They are really, really good stats. Defense and special are much lower, but that's not terrible. So, like, that's certainly passable. Arcanine is definitely one you would consider for a 6. If you're doing a randomizer and you got Arcanine, you'd be pretty happy. If he had Flamethrower, he would have won that a lot quicker because he kept missing with Fire Blast. Flamethrower, you can learn as a Growlithe. You can't learn it by level as an Arcanine, and because we started with Arcanine, we didn't, we didn't get Flamethrower. Overall, Arcanine's run is fantastic up until you hit the Elite Four, then it just fell apart. It took me nearly 25 minutes to get through the Elite Four. In fact, even over 25 minutes, which is unreal, considering how fast the game is running. Anyway, Arcanine, good Pokemon, really, really hard done by this run. Uh, he's, he's a lot better than what his final level and his time has ended up as. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the run. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe, keep well. I will see you in the next solo run. Farewell.